Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, pretty freaking exciting. Something we've been waiting for for quite a while. We do have news of new Alephium ASICs. And not just Bitmain. Bitmain was the main one we're waiting for, but also Ice River jumping into the fray, right? So we do have full specs on the Bitmain unit. We have price, release windows, the whole thing. Ice River just teased us. They're going to release specs on Monday, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the dynamics. We'll look at current profitability and what to kind of expect once X amount of units come on, which is going to be the big thing here is understanding those risk factors. Okay, we're going to look at the profitability calculator. And like we've mentioned, that thing is going to look outrageous, but we have to be realistic, right? So we're going to just talk about the whole thing to kind of give our thoughts and opinions on what it's looking like and kind of where it's going. Again, with these things, you want to be more forward thinking and not just look at what's going on currently, but look at what's going to happen once these actually drop to retail and they are in hand. OK, so I'm going to try to keep it short, but it's probably still going to be a pretty long one, guys. So just giving you the heads up. So if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned. Let's get to this thing. So this is officially round two of trying to release this damn video. So I was recording earlier and I kept getting notifications and I found, decided to just check and got word of the Ice River announcement, right? So that is a big thing because like what I was talking about when I was doing it initially, that's gonna play a big factor. Okay, so we'll, we'll get into the nitty gritty here in a second, but let's focus on this bit main announcement because this is confirmed. This is what we do know, okay? The Antminer AL1, so we'll start off with the specs. Extremely impressive. 15.6 terahash, 3,510 watts, 225 joules of terahash. So some of the standouts here. We're starting to see a trend with these power ratings. With these bitmain units, 3,500 is probably going to be the new norm. Okay, so make sure you understand that. The other big thing, which is something we mentioned in the other AL Box 2 video we did, is that we were kind of doing theoreticals on what a big boy unit would be. We mentioned do not be surprised because again we're just doing 10x from there but to not be surprised that if the bitmain unit comes out that it's twice the efficiency which is something we saw in the previous iterations which is what ended up happening here okay so what makes it even more impressive it's double the efficiency of the current gold chill unit okay so where it's not coming in like 7 8 terahash 15.62 okay so this is the big thing and why we're kind of waiting for the Bitmain unit because they usually set the standard. Okay, so now we have the standard is now set. Now we have something to really compare to so we can see what these other aces come out, where they kind of stand as far as using like latest and greatest. Okay, so this is kind of a big deal and one we're really waiting for because this is going to give us a better idea of where the others really stand. Okay. Another big thing to touch on is the price. And this is something we also mentioned in there is that this 30,000 price level seems to be a hit where people are willing to take the risk on one of these like more high basics. Okay, so that's where we're kind of basing things off of that potential 30,000 price target and this is where I ended up at, right? At least for the big boy unit and at least from Bitmain, okay? So the other things that are notable, it goes on sale July 22nd, shipping end of August. So this isn't a super early pre-order. This is only about a month away. Okay, so coming fairly soon. One little hint they give us as far as batch sizing goes is that it's limited to 25 units per purchase, right? It ranges anywhere from 50 to 100. 50 on the kind of lower end, this is only 25 units, right? So it could be because of the price. Could be just because of this first initial batch is maybe smaller. Who kind of knows? We'll do theoreticals, though, as far as calculations go. So you can kind of see the extent of how it's going to affect the network, which is pretty drastically. So let's get on to the other big announcement. And this was from Ice River just not too long ago. OK, so they didn't give us specifics, but they are dropping a new series of Ice River ASICs next Monday. OK, so it's not just one bigger unit. It's most likely going to be the similar lineup that we saw with the initial cast units, which is like a AL0, AL1, AL2 kind of thing. We don't know if they're going to release a mid tier and a high end tier. We don't we have no idea. Right. But my personal guess is that definitely something on the low end. So like along the lines of AL0 or something to compare with like the AL box one and two and potentially some mid tier guys. OK, so that's what be more intriguing for me just because price point wise not necessarily saying it's affordable but it's going to be 
obviously priced less than the bigger units, right? Because for me to spend 30K on a unit, regardless of how good it looks, is pretty extreme, right? Anything, in my opinion, over 10K, 10K is already pretty extreme. And like this 3Xing that, a lot of risk, right? We'll talk about the risk factors here in a second. But as we look at overall price for the Bitmain unit, again, I know people talk about the coupon thing, like, oh, this is a fake thing. The coupons, you go on bitfufu.com. They do have a marketplace for them. They are fairly easy to obtain. And we do know that the after coupon price is closer to the street price. Okay, so they do have that 41.8 as being the thing. But realistically, focus on the after coupon price, which from the stores is typically going to be a premium. It typically won't be less than that, but it's usually quite a bit more than that. Right, which something to consider there. So for example, they are starting to get listed. NHash does have it listed at 32K for pre-order, but just keep in mind, like even if this thing looks good to you, the fact that Ice River is coming out on Monday with announcements, I would definitely be extremely, extremely hesitant with ordering one now. I would definitely, at least my personal opinion, I would definitely wait until see what happens here, right? Because this can be a game changer also. And this is what we're talking about also is that on top of the price being stupid, the profitability initially on these calculators is also going to be stupid, which it currently freaking is. Okay. Mining now has it listed as making 770 bucks a day currently. Make sure you fully understand, and this is accurate, but again, only if you are the only individual to get one before everybody else. Like if you got your name is rpm and you happen to get that one unit and you're mining by yourself for a month that is what you're going to yield on a daily basis it's not realistic once retail gets it once that batch comes out this is not going to be a realistic number just because of the hash rate and difficulty increase which all that means is that as more miners come online as more hash rate comes online your slice of the pie is going to be a fraction of what it was okay and it's in this case it's a very tiny fraction potentially Okay, we'll talk about that here in a second. Another big thing to harp on when you are looking at these things, when you are doing calculations or looking at different things, do not focus on the fiat profitability. Focus on the yield. So when you're doing calculations, don't like, oh, I think the hash rate is going to 10x. So it's going to make, you know, 77 bucks. Not a good way to look at it because that fiat profitability can change drastically, right? Which we have seen even just today, right? Alephium's price has gone up massively after the announcement of these ASICs. It was this morning, it was at about $1.10, currently at $1.60 just from this news alone. Okay, so pretty big jump. And again, that's gonna drastically change the fiat profitability of this thing, right? The yield hasn't changed, but the fiat profitability has. So you wanna focus on the yield and that way, that's what you wanna calculate when you're doing these projections and guesstimations and such, right? So, when we look at how much yield it could potentially make, again, going on an ALF profitability mining calculator, approximately about 438 ALF, okay? Bringing your fiat value 658, again, it's gonna fluctuate just because, again, this probably isn't updated with the current price because it has been moving. And there's a lot of deviations with the hash rate even currently right now, okay? So, definitely changing there. Um, as we look at, unfortunately people who bought the al box 2 which is again why we're so against it in that video we specifically went into the bigger better miner coming out and all the clues that were there including and pool listing the freaking instructions for how to put on an lithium asic which and pool is bitmain's official pool right giving us the clues that it was coming sooner than later okay so a lot of different things telling us that it was coming and that was going to be your biggest threat okay and the your kind of worst case scenario is kind of happening okay so gold shell did release a tweet today that they are going to do something about it and they're going to announce it next week hopefully what they do is everybody who pre-ordered refund them their damn money reprice this thing according to how you should have done it from the get-go instead of being so damn greedy refund those people reprice it and then give them the option if they want to repurchase at that new price that would be the fair way to do it okay so just so against gold shell and what they're doing what they've been doing and it's not even like oh well they didn't know they did fully know and this is a game they've been playing with overpricing these asics 
knowing full well that other aces were going to come online anyway. Okay. Hence that Kadena miner back there. Again, this is not something new. Everybody's saying, oh, well, they didn't know. Happened back there. Happened as recently. Not even with this guy. We can go even to the K box, right? Releasing that thing. And then a few weeks later, K box pro at a cheaper price than that price. And then these rapid price drops going from like 2,400 down to 800 bucks. And again, in a few weeks, breaking those people who wanted to support them. Okay. So it does go both ways. As the consumer, you need to educate yourself in what fair value would be. Okay, like we estimate what the market price is likely to be, but you have to factor in what a fair price would be and what's gonna happen to the hash rate and what's gonna happen when these other units come on because it is going to change the dynamics. You need to fully understand those things, which is a big part of what we do on this channel, right? We've been talking about it from the beginning a big reason I even started it was because of that thing. And this is why we hopped on it when the K3 came out, the K7 came out, all these cast by ASICs. You have to understand these dynamics, okay? Because it's not going to make what these things are saying once the hash rate increases, okay? So that's a good segue into our next topic, and that's what we're talking about. The current hash rate and what's going to happen to the hash rate, which is going to be one of your biggest threats here. Okay, so current hash rate as of now is about 1.58 petahash. Okay, so we're gonna do ballpark numbers, easy math. We're not gonna do anything crazy. Okay, because at this point, it's just to get a ballpark idea of where things can potentially land. Okay, so we're gonna base it off of potentially Bitmain releasing a batch of 2,000 units. Okay. Can it be more than that? Sure. Can it be less than that? Also sure. And also potentially likely. Maybe it's only a thousand units. Maybe it's a little bit less. Again, it can be more, can be less. We don't know. But in this calculation, because again, 2000 has been a number that they've used in previous releases. So it's not something that's out of the realm of possibility. It's not something that's like extreme, but it is going to affect the hash rate pretty extremely. And we'll see that here in a second. So we're going to factor in as if the equivalent increase in the overall hash rate is the equivalent of 2,000 of these. Whether it's 1,000 of these, you know, the equivalent in hash rate of 1,000 of the Ice River units concentrated and whatever gold shell units come out, because factor that in. It's going to be the Bitmain units, it's going to be the Ice River units, and it's going to be the shipment of AO Box 2s, which people are probably going to buy if they're priced reasonably, if they reprice them, Okay. So between the three manufacturers, we're going to say it's the equivalent of hash rate of 2,000 of these. Okay. Again, it could be more, could be less. This is just to get a, a gauge as to what can happen with the hash rate. Okay. So again, current hash rate, 1.5 petahash. Remember that number. Okay. So to figure that out, we want to look at the hash rate of the unit and multiply it by around how many th units we think are going to come out. In this case, we're just going to ballpark and say 2,000 units. So you would just take your 15.6 and you would multiply that by those 2,000 units. Okay, so 15.6 terahash multiply it by 2,000. That's just going to give us a gauge of how much the overall network is going to increase in terms of hash rate. In this case, it would be 31,200 terahash could potentially be added to the network if the equivalent of that much hash rate goes online during this time frame. Okay. So for easy math purposes, again, you're just moving the decimal over three times. But to visualize it easier and for you guys to understand how to do this in the future, use a hash rate converter. You just punch in your 31,200 terahash, and it's converting it into petahash, which, again, is just moving the decimal place over three times. Okay. So it can potentially increase the overall hash rate by 31.2 petahash. The current overall hash rate is 1.5 petahash. Easy math, that's about a 20x potential increase in the overall hash rate. Okay, so it's not a 20%, not a 10, it's a 20x, meaning your yield is going to be 120th of what it is currently. Make sure you fully understand that. Even if you're on the, oh, they won't release that many, maybe it's only a thousand. Even at that point, that's a 10x. And again, that's a conglomerate of the three manufacturers, that equivalent hash rate, which to me is somewhat likely, okay? 
So again, whether it's a thousand of these things and the other coming from Ice River and Gold Shell, or maybe it's 2,000 of these and then add on those, who freaking knows, right? But I think this is not a really that much of an extreme number. It is a number that's pretty likely to potentially hit. Hopefully it's a lot less, but again, you wanna do these things more Worst case scenario, and in this case, honestly, it's probably more of a realistic scenario. I don't even think this is a worst case scenario number, but the numbers are gonna make it look like it is a worst case scenario, okay? So again, factor in that potentially this can increase 20X in one shot, meaning your yield is gonna be 120th. Based off of that math, when we look at how much the current Bitmain unit will yield, which is about 438 alpha, now let's divide that by the 20 because potentially it's 1 20th of that, right? So 438, divide that by the 20. Easy math purposes, let's just call it 20 off. Okay, so it is potential for it to drop to that extreme. Hopefully it's not. Over time, almost confident it's going to reach that level, but maybe it's 100, 200 units that first batch and then a month later, another 200 units, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully it's done more in that manner. Something to think about though. Okay, so again, I would look at these more in the worst case, look at it from that perspective. So when you look at it from this perspective, that definitely changes things, right? So you're going from that crazy number down to your fiat profitability being 32 bucks. Okay, but factor in where Alf's price is. If by that time, maybe the market is pumping and maybe it goes back up to where it was not too long ago. Maybe it goes up to $3.20, maybe a double. So now it's making 60 bucks. Maybe it goes to where it was making not too long before that in the four, 450 range. Now it's making 90 bucks, okay? And again, maybe it's only half of that and it's 180 bucks, right? Maybe because your yield is double because it's only a 10X instead of a 20X gain. Okay, so a lot of variables here. Maybe Alephian pumps more which is also very possible because it is a small market cap coin, right? It's currently ranked number 353 overall, okay? So this thing still does have a lot of upside, a lot of pump potential from these manufacturers, just increase that profitability number, okay? So will it be that extreme? We don't know, is it possible? Sure, right? Hopefully it's less, hopefully they are a little easier on it and it's not so aggressive. Maybe again, it's just like a couple hundred units at a time per batch. We don't freaking know. But we know that profitability wise, it can handle that much going all at once, okay? But does that mean that this guy is still a buy based off of that? Because again, this is gonna be priced off of this, okay? But just understand that this isn't realistic, okay? Even if it, you're being conservative and, oh, maybe it's only a 4X difference. Okay, so still, it's a massive, massive difference in what it's going to be and what you're actually going to get by the time that you get it. Okay, so make sure you fully, fully understand that risk because it is going to be extreme. These are massive units coming online right off the rip. Okay, we're going from these little 720 giga hash units to a freaking 15.6 tera hash. Okay, it's a massive, massive difference. Okay, so you got to understand the extent of things and what can potentially happen. Okay, among other risk factors. Okay, let's say even you get it like, oh, you know what? I have a faith. It's going to go up, yada, yada, yada. You have to be comfortable with these prices changing drastically. Okay, which is something again from the CASPA playbook. Study that playbook if you're not familiar. Okay, which is again, Prices coming in extreme, which again, even with the ice river units, again, the KS2 was 30K when that thing came out. Then the KS3L came out at a much lower price, right? Because again, the profitability was going down because the hash rate was increasing by multiples, not 10, 15, 20%, like what's happening now where we're all grabbing about it. It's going up, it's getting cut in half. The hash rate's going up 100% and another 100% and another 100%, meaning your yield is going down by those multiples also. So when these units, these hype basics are priced based on the profitability, right? They're not pricing it based off how much it costs to make. They're pricing it based off of the profitability. So as that fiat profitability goes down, in order to sell these things, the price is going to have to go along with it, which is what we saw. We saw monthly 
sometimes bi-monthly decreases in those prices and sometimes extremely aggressive, which we saw happen with the Binmain unit, right? They were kind of struggling to sell at that crazy price because Ice River was undercutting them and then they ripped off the Band-Aid and then went down 50% pretty much overnight. And that happened with the KS3. And again, just recently with the KS5, right? Going from that 30K down to 10K. Okay, so you have to understand not only the yield risk, but these price reductions, which are going to happen again. Okay, whether it's this unit or these Ice River units, it's going to be the same thing. Okay, so fully understand that. Like even if these come out and the AL0 looks good, understand what's going to happen and that even if an AL0 does come out, what happened with the KS0s is going to happen again here. Over time, it is going to become probably it's still going to be profitable, but it's just not going to yield much. Okay, so a lot of, a lot, a lot of learning lessons from CASPA. It's going to repeat here. Just make sure you understand those dynamics and understand that the yield is going to go down and it's all going to be dependent also on ALF's price action. If ALF pumps, then the dynamic just change. If it doesn't, then it does change. So factor those things in, factor in potential sell pressure. Again, people buying ASICs at 30K and seeing things kind of dwindle away. Maybe they just start dumping it to try to recoup that 32K. If the price action isn't too hot, factor in that potential also. Okay, so just because these things are coming out doesn't mean this price action that we're currently getting is going to continue by the time this thing drops. Okay, so factor in the risk. Like we can know the positives. We know it potentially can make a ton of money, which it can but you have to understand those risks if you're considering jumping in. So if you're okay with the yield dropping down that much, the price of this thing getting cut into half or a third of what it is in the matter of months, make sure you understand that possibility, okay? Because it's something that can potentially happen or the inverse, baby freaking Alephium from all this attention, the price just moons. Maybe it goes up to five, six, seven, eight bucks. And maybe these units are only Maybe it's only a 200 unit batch once a month, okay? Like there's a lot of factors at play. What makes it difficult is all these things are out of your control, right? These are things you cannot control. You have no input over. You cannot strong arm anything. You cannot change anything. It's just going to happen. And we have no insight as to how many units. Again, and it's gonna drastically affect your profitability, drastically affect your yield, okay? So just make sure you fully understand those things kind of know what you're getting yourself into okay but once you understand those risks you kind of see value where things are at you look at prices so we really have to see what's going to happen here to me this is going to be a key part okay ice river played a very big role all of last year with caspa asic pricing you can kind of say that they not kind of say they led the market in prices Okay, they were consistently undercutting Bitmain to the point where just enough to tempt you to go with the Ice River unit over the Bitmain unit consistently. Literally, it took Bitmain an entire year for them to take over the price, which is what happened with that price drop with the KS5. Finally, when they did that, that's the first time that they took control of the market in terms of pricing. Ice River was dictating those price cuts the entire time by pricing fairly and aggressively. Okay, we don't know what's going to happen this time, though, because also back then they were a newer company. We didn't even know if they were real. Like, honestly, I was so convinced that this was all a scam in my head. When they were first announced, I was like, no way. Why would they sell it? Because they could just self mine and make a millions. Right. Which still to this day is still kind of baffling that they didn't just kind of do that. Right. But a lot of factors here, but realistically, I really want to see what they release, what their price points are, where their efficiency is, okay? Because even that's going to kind of give us an idea where the gold shell is, right? Because if Ice River's efficiency is with the Bitmain unit, you're going to want to go with the Ice River all day, okay? But if the efficiency is more along with the gold shell unit, maybe they're priced similarly, maybe there's a little battle there, we can see on the low end, okay? So maybe if Gold Shell does price competitive. Again, this is assuming that they price competitively, which hopefully they do do that because that's the only way they're going to sell things. Otherwise, ain't nobody going to buy this thing. But very curious to see what happens here. Very curious on the mid-tier units. I wouldn't necessarily be super interested in like an AL0 unless I found a way to guarantee like an initial batch, 
which who did we see had the fastest shipping times? T-Swift last time. Okay, so that would be the advantage with like getting one of the small guys if you're able to get in that first batch if it's priced accordingly. Okay, then at that point, could be worth a little risk there. Okay, but realistically, again, I would be more interested in like the mid-tier units if they release something that is in the like the five, six Terra hash range. Well, we're going to have to wait and see, right? We're kind of speculating there. But we're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to wait and see where those price points are, which to me, it's going to probably be this guy. Okay, because I mean, again, that was a big speculation part also is that that was the expectation that as soon as somebody did announce a big one to see these other companies come out of the woodwork and announce theirs, which is exactly what happened. Bitmain finally released a price point. They are the standard. So now we have the efficiency standard where top of the line is probably going to be. Now they're going to start releasing their prices and they're going to price their units accordingly, probably trying to be Bitmain. Okay, but again, the name of the game here is that they do have to be Bitmain. They have to be more efficient because Bitmain is going to be the more reliable overall potentially best unit. But again, the name of the game here, just like we saw with Cass, price to Terahash. That's going to be my biggest thing. Okay, so even if these guys, the Ice River units, the efficiency is more in line with the Gold Shell unit, if the price to Terahash is good, that may be where the play is. Okay, but... A lot of excitement. I'm definitely excited for this because realistically, this is going to give us a better idea of where the pricing should land. Okay, at least initially. But again, like we mentioned, understand these risks. Even if it's not going to be the 2000 unit equivalent, even if it's half of that, even if it's a quarter of that, it's still a massive, massive difference. And that's kind of what we're betting against, right? So when we're taking that DGen bet, like, oh, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, that's what we're betting with right? How many units overall between the three manufacturers will get dropped initially, okay? Which is kind of a different play from what happened with Ice River and their Ice River summer last year because it was just them pretty much the whole summer. We knew the Bitmain unit was coming, but not till like August, September, which is what ended up happening. So Ice River was able to release, you know, the KS0 and the KS1, KS2, slowly grow the hash rate, control the price, control the market, control the shipping, and because they were a smaller company, they weren't making as many units, right? So those who got in on that first batch, the second batch, if you timed it well along those price cuts, you made out extremely well because, again, they were controlling the market. Not happening here, right? This Bitmain unit is coming out next month. We'll see when their units come out. So it is a different dynamic. It is a different time also, right? So these units also came in last year in the bear market, which is why we were getting those profitability cuts. Who's to say that the market doesn't start turning bullish by September, October, and the price starts keeping up with the hash rate, and we don't really get those significant price cuts? Okay, so just a lot of things at play here, a lot of dynamics at play here, a lot, a lot of risk at play here also, right? So make sure you fully understand those things, and make sure you fully understand just what's going to happen there and then there's other dynamics in play here also again i didn't want to make this super long but there is also dynamics with like alethium and their block rewards which is dynamic which is going to affect you more if you're solo mining and you guys who have solo mined in the past you know it kind of it's all over the place and it's because based on two things so again i would recommend reading the white paper so you kind of understand the dynamics there and understand how it's going to decrease over time and the biggest thing is proof of less work, which is not going to trigger into one exahash, right? So we still have quite a ways for that. But even currently, like there was actually a drop, like once it hits one petahash, it slowly is going to decrease. So there is going to be a decrease in the overall block rewards, but that's going to affect you more if you are solo mining. Like, for example, if you get one and you're trying to solo mine, that's going to affect you. If you're pull mining, it's going to be different. So just understand these dynamics also. Make sure you understand what's going on there. But the bulk of what's happening is going to be here how many units get shipped this is going to be your biggest risk factor here even more so than alethium's price it's this is a hundred percent at least in the short term these next few months are going to be pivotal just like we saw with caspa right where the hash rate was just doubling 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 until it reaches that point like where caspa is now which it's like a year later where it's the hash rate has matured to the point where obviously it's going to affect it and it's still going to increase massively but it's not in these multiples. It's like 10, 20, 30, 40% versus, you know, 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, right? So 
understand these things guys let me know what you guys think in the comments what are you most excited for are you a freaking degen and you already ordered 10 of the al1s are you going to be potentially a little bit smarter and wait for ice river to see what happens there or are you scared of the al1 selling out let me know in your in the comments guys what do you guys think are you guys interested at all again that was a big thing with me why i was convinced on the big Alephia Masic was going to be out of my price range, and that ended up happening. But what's interesting here, again, those ice rivers. Are you guys interested in those ice rivers? To me, I think that's what's most exciting here, right? So let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think, what you guys are doing. Are you guys getting cash ready? Let me know in the comments, guys. All right, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching, and we are out.